What's going on everybody? Uh, dealing with it getting darker earlier. I wanted to get these sides on the trailer. I'm going to get started tonight and up tomorrow. Last time I started a project at night, I just said screw it. I didn't video it. And then I got some comments of people saying, hey, we wish you would have videoed that. So I'm going to start on this tonight. Um, there's one of the 8 foot 2 by 12s. Um, it's actually going to go across the front. The other one's going to go across the back. I just got it sit there right now. Sitting there right now. So I can get my height here. Got that perfectly flush. And then down here, uh, the boards will sit on this um, steel rod that you use to tie down the tarp. So I'm um, just going to go from there. I was just trying to get the right height so I can get a bunch of these cut. Um, I need one, two, three, four, five, ten. 14 I need 16 of these uprights you can see how nice these are let me turn this one around solid oak and they are nice I got a little dirty in the garage but very nice glad I got those milled down like I said before they're almost too nice to put on a trailer and they're just going to get beat the crap beat out of them probably with uh, people loading garbage into it or uh, tractors hitting it um, if you watch my other video, I did have the, all these needed to be milled down because I didn't take into account the small ledge under here <clears throat> and they were true dimensional two by fours and two by twelves. I did have him run the two by 12 eight footers through a plane, took half an inch off cause they're going on the front and the back. Um, the guy that uh, owns the wood shop, uh, he talked me into leaving the 14 footers that are going to run the full length of the trailer leaving those a full two inch thick he's owned a couple construction companies and a couple uh dump trailers and he goes yeah he goes I always put thinner boards on wish i would have put thicker because it's one thing when i load this trailer it's another thing if i'm taking it to uh a quarry and that they're loading it guys don't pay attention to equipment if it's not their own so it's better to have the thicker boards on the top and i'm just going to leave them on the side it's not going to add too much weight um, I mean, these are already adding enough weight as it is, but I'm never going to fill this trailer to capacity. I'd rather have the upright protection. So I'm going to get started on that, finish cutting the rest of those uprights up. And then I don't know how I'm going to get a fo that 14 foot 2 by 12 up on the side. Um, yeah, I might have to use a tractor for that. This awesome work light here was left by the previous owner. Uh, as you can see, there's our garage. The Kubota's sitting there. That light up there is not working, and you cannot find a replacement right now. Every store is sold out of the security lights. Um, the only ones they had were motion lights only. I didn't want to do that. I like having the whole parking area lit up at the home at night. So um, back here, hopefully you guys can see this all right. You can see there is a stake pocket right here. <clears throat> the tarp on this trailer runs on a roller. That sticks out a little bit. So I'm not going to be able to use the stake pocket. And what I'll do, um, I think I'll this will be the last stake pocket. And then I'll just have it come down on an angle so I can still get the tarp in these latches here. So that's what we're going to do there. And that's all I can think of right now. If you haven't checked them out, if you're in Ohio, check out Pineview Trailer Sales in Greenwich. Awesome dudes, awesome prices. But I'm going to go back in the garage, start cutting the rest of those uprights up, and see how far we get tonight. And uh, there's those beasts. 14 foot 2 by 12 It's a rough cut. So I'm going to get to work, and then uh, see how far I can get tonight. I might add some more footage. If not, we'll finish it tomorrow. <clears throat> I did stop at Tractor Supply tonight and uh, got all the hardware I needed. I'm just going to do... Uh, I'm not going to do two bolts on every upright, um, but I did buy three eighths, I believe. Three eighths are half inch bolts, five inches long, washers, lock nuts, the whole nine yards. So I think I'm going to go two, one, two, one, where are we at? And then two on the back. Um, there's no need to have two bolts on every one of these that I can think of. So. Um, we'll just do that, <clears throat> and uh, I want to get these uprights done, and we'll get back with you and see how far we got tonight. Well, got half of the uprights cut. I think my saw blade's dulling a little bit. That last one smelled like it was burning a little bit. I got a new saw blade over here. About to throw that on uh, and get back to that. Like I said, I need 16 of those. What do we got here? Two, four, six, eight. 
nine, one on the trailer, ten. So actually, I guess I got six more to go, and we're going to keep on cutting. But yeah, this figure and this stuff's just pretty. Pretty oak. Sounds a little wet from the floor, but some pretty wood here for putting on the side of a trailer. I got stone stuck in that one. But keep cutting and see how far we get here. Uh, I'd like to at least get the front bolted on tonight and call that a night. All right, here we are. Uh, I got one side of the uprights done. I'm still cutting the other ones. I wanted to get this done first, though. Let me show you what we got going on here. So these posts are all the way in the back of this piece here. So I didn't want to put the header board behind here um, for a number of reasons. Number two is just going to take up two inches, well, an inch and a half of space here in the front. And the second thing, let me show you. This is where my tarp is. Sorry, it's a little dark. Um, I didn't want, I'm gonna have this uh, routed over so it's nice and smooth for the tarp. But if I put these uprights here on the front side, you can see that's just gonna be cutting right into that tarp. I'm glad I thought about that right now. Um, but I might work on this for another half hour. What I plan on doing here, as you can see, I scored a line with a square uh, this comes out to the edge of the trailer. Let me get this out of the way. That comes out to the edge of the trailer. And my other board, which will be riding right here, will hook right into that. And I will shoot a couple screws from the front. I got a couple four-inch screws in there. From the front to this just to hold it, because I don't ever plan on taking these out. So I figure that's the best use of space. And... Uh, Got the other side marked already, but like I was saying, it's the best use of space, and it's going to be the least intrusive on cutting that tarp up. So let me get this one in the garage and get that cut down, and we will go and try and bolt this one in at least tonight. Sweet. Good morning. So I was laying in bed last night and I was like, I think I made a mistake on how I was putting these boards on the trailer. And we'll get into that in a minute when we get home. Um, I was going to run my stake pocket two by fours all the way flush with the top of the two by twelves because I thought it looked better. But then I got thinking laying in bed last night that uh, when I pull my tarp kit back, my tarp kit is just wide enough to cover the upright 2x12s and there's a big washer on each end to keep the tarp kit centered on the steel rod when you're pulling it back. So if I have those flush and there's a big washer on the end, every time I come to a set of stake pocket posts, the tarp's going to want to bounce up and over. And I was like, that's probably not that good. If you have a little bit of wind, it's just going to create a giant headache. So um, my circular saw blade has about had it. My brother has my compound miter saw. He's getting ready to do a project. Um, that you just saw, no pun intended. So, ran over there this morning, he was about five minutes from me. Uh, he was actually getting ready to take my compound miter saw blade off and put a different one he bought on for the flooring he's doing. I said, hold up, I'll be there in five minutes. Let me cut down these boards. I had four of them already cut from last night. And I had to cut six more out of one of those oak two by fours. And I think we have everything we need. And like I said, I'll explain this to you a little better. I'm pulling in the driveway right now. Um, but yeah, so as long as it's uniform, it'll look all right. I just uh, don't know why I didn't think about that last night when I started this project. And other big news, my wife works from home. Kiddo is only goes to school two days a week. And today, last night, our internet went out. So my wife called the company. They said we can't get there till Monday. So my wife and daughter ran to her parents house for the day to use their internet i'm going to uh, get this dump trailer done i gotta run the kubota over to my dad's maybe i'll do a video of loading the kubota up in this dump trailer because i have not done that yet we'll see how that goes but uh get out here in a minute and i'll let you take a look at uh the issue i found with the dump trailer 
All right, the sun's not working with me today, but this is how I had it cut last night before I put the tarp up. But as you can see, that tarp kit rolls right on the top. So as I'd be pulling it back, it would hit, it would hit this every time and it'd have to bounce up over. Um, this would be perfectly flush here. And I just didn't want to risk having it pop off. So um, it'd just be an issue with that trying to roll up there. So what I did is let me grab a new board and show you what that looks like. Sorry for the wind just picked up here. So this is the new board. Uh, that longer one I'm actually going to use on the back stake pockets because they won't make a difference. Um, and they're actually covered like the ones in the front uh, in those tubes so you won't see them. But this way I got gave myself a little extra room. I think I took off an inch and a half can't remember exactly but now when this rolls there'll be no interference with anything like that um, so I don't think it looks as nice but it's functional and uh, I'm not risking these bouncing around up here so here's where we are right now here's my other dilemma see this line I scribed last night I don't know if I want to cut this 2 by 12 going back on an angle here reason being let me go around the inside of the trailer here is the hook for my tarp kit. Um, so I'm not sure if I want to how I want to do that. I know they probably make something where I can put a hook up here on top, but uh, usually no one loads it. I mean, right here's the back, very back of the trailer where the door closes. I'd still like to get the tarp kit to hook down here, um, just minimizes chances of anything blowing out the back even though these are still gonna have a 2x12 on them so I'm gonna play it by ear uh, I looked around a little bit last night on the internet and that's what guys do they usually just cut them short a little bit so their tarp will still hook uh, one guy I spoke to said he just cut his flush or plum but then the problem is when he undoes his heart tarp and he goes to the front to crank it in he wishes he would put some kind of slope to it so that's probably what we'll do and uh trailer's getting running out tonight at six o'clock and like i said i have to run to my dad's with the tractor first and it's only 10 so we got time to get stuff done today but uh yeah the front looks nice up there and i'm just putting two bolts in each uh in the front and the back and then the sides i'll just do two one two one two one well after thinking about it for a few minutes i figured that's just the best route to go i can still get the tarp down here um, I wasn't going to be able to use the steak pocket anyways. So, well, that's what we came out with. If I end up not liking it, I can always go buy more 2x12s. So, all right, we're going to get this bolted down quick and then get on the other side and get out of here.
All right, everybody, here's what I'm doing for bolts. 3 8 bolt, 3 8 washer. Um, then on the inside, which is probably overkill, I'm doing a 3 8 washer, or a, a bigger washer. I'm doing a smaller washer, and then a lock washer and a nut. Um, I know it's overkill, but it's better to be safe than sorry. And I'm just using a 3 8 inch drill bit on these. I don't know how many expensive hammers I've found. I always lose them. This old, uh, doesn't even say, it says warning, wear goggles. I have no idea how old this hammer is, but it seems whatever I move, this damn hammer follows me around. And it's the only one I can ever find. So I went two, one, then I'll do two back on this one. Might be OCD. I know you don't even have this perfect, but taking the time to do it, might as well do it right. Make it look nice. This oak is hard. There's no good replacement for a corded drill. These cordless ones, I don't know. I gotta start buying Milwaukee or something. I was happy with these for the first year. That seems the batteries go to junk. Hopefully this lasts for all of them I have to do today. I already got three more charge or batteries on charger. All right, I got uh, three more holes to drill, three more bolts to pound in there, and then I'll get back with you when I show you. Excuse me, how I secure them on the inside. All right, got all those uh, drilled and tapped through, so I'm gonna show you what I do on the inside here. I take a larger fender washer. That goes on. A smaller actual 3 8 washer. That goes on. Take a lock washer. And then just a nut. And then when I'm done, I'll come through and I will cut off all the tabs with a grinder. And yes, I have an impact, but the batteries on that aren't wanting to work either. And that's 
So you have it. Now I just have uh, two, four, six, eight, about 25 more of these to go. And uh, that's it, guys. All right, almost done. I uh, got this door done. Let me show you what we're looking at here. Let me show you how I did it on the other door. All right, so there's not much of a lip for that one to go on. Um, that's how that looks from the back. But it was a little tricky. This one's milled down to an inch and a half. But it was a little tricky. So what I did over here, put some clamps on to get the height I wanted there and then uh, just more clamps on the top holding on there this one still needs to be drilled and bolted and then I am done and then we'll do a final walk around all right got her done charging right now um, only thing I other I did I did take the circular saw I know it doesn't look great and ran a 45 on here so there's no sharp edges on the tarp and I actually have a black kind of slick rubber material I'm gonna nail up on here and over the edge just to kind of protect that corner as you can see like I said before every other one I did two so two one two one two bolt back here like those boards look nice those were ran through a planer these ones are still rough cut so they got the marks from the mill but I'm not too worried about that and I got some sawdust up there yet but uh, I went through with the grinder and I cut all the bolts off flush so I can still tighten them up if need be but there's no rough edges and I'm happy with the way it turned out so true there's 12 they're 12 inches tall like I said earlier um, fronts and back are half inch 2 by 12s and then the sides I left the full 2 inch at the recommendation of my wood guy who said you know it's better to have them thick and these are strong and heavy and they don't really affect uh, the weight of this trailer much so I'm happy the way it turned out um, next thing I gotta do is just one of these days or maybe later today see if the tractor fits and we'll see how well that goes but as always everybody thanks for watching if you have any questions uh, comments I love to hear them and uh, pretty happy the way this turned out I had about an hour in it last night about two hours this morning hardest part was moving those 14 footers by myself so all right guys take her easy thanks for watching